All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. All right, you know, I want to touch on the topic, you know, that a hey, uh, masculinity, all right, the new masculinity in America, hey, you see it right here by this picture, man. All right, men uh, being effeminate, man. All right. This world is um this world is upside down, man. Alright, and the Lord is going he's gonna come back and turn it um back on his um on his right um at his back back how it's supposed to be, man, because it's upside down. Alright, so the Lord he's gonna flip that around, man. Alright, make it stand upright again. <laughs> you know? You know the Lord is gonna bring uprightness. All right, back on this earth, man. All right, and he's already doing it now. All right, through through his men. All right, all right, primarily through the men of Great Millstone. All right, starting with Apostle Tahar, man. All right, so so that's what we're doing now, man. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, we are bringing uprightness back to the nation of Israel, man. All right, because that's what we teach for. We teach for the nation of Israel, man. All right, we don't teach for uh, you you heathens. All right, well, well, Salakia, well, we do teach. We, we, we come to teach all nations, man. All right, but we come to tell you, you heathens, all right, that you're going into slavery, man. All right? And you're going to serve the Lord in our kingdom, man. All right, but we are teaching to seal the elect, all right, and to wake up our people, man. All right? You know, this is for all nations, but this is primarily for the nation of Israel, man. All right? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right, and 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 whithersoever that you, that um that ha, that the Lord has scattered you, all right. If your if your spirit <clears throat> if your spirit bears witness to uh to what we're saying, all right, you're an Israelite, man. All right, because no heathen is going to understand these uh is going to understand this song, man. All right. But let me start out in Romans chapter one and verse twenty five says, "Who changed the truth?" of the most high into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen all right you see you see yeah how about some shot he's blessed forever man all right always on um, in righteousness man all right yeah how about some y'all shot can't do unrighteous man all right but who changed the truth of the most high man all right we already know who did that man all right esau man all right these so-called white people man all right, primarily the elites, all right? They, but all the, the, the whole uh, nation of Edom is guilty, man, all right? And it says prepare slaughter for their children, man, all right? You know, so, hey, so this, this, uh, the words of Yahweh Shemel Shai has been changed, man, all right? The truth, man, you know, that you can, you can wear a dress as a man, you know? Which is false, man. You know, you can't be effeminate and enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, you're going to have to die on this side, man, and be reborn in the kingdom. All right, but because you dying by nuclear missiles or famine or or, or, uh, or the sword through Esau and Jacob's trouble, you know, that's you being cleansed, man. All right, because you don't want to take heed to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. All right. In verse 26 it says, For this cause the Most High gave them up unto their vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Alright? You know, the Lord, the Lord is giving you up, giving you up to, to those vile affections, man. Alright, you want to be a homosexual? Alright, you want to wear you want to wear dresses? Alright, you want to do effeminate things? Alright, the Lord, He's ultimately giving you over to that type of spirit, man. You know, and our women, they change their natural use, man. You know, our women, they're wearing pants now. Our women, they want to be like men. All right, you got that one uh, rapper, uh, Young Ma. You know, she's she's a demon, man. All right, she wants to be a man. You know, you got women taking, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I forget the word, but they're they're taking pills so they be so they can be more masculine. 
you know, and men, they're taking, uh, uh, oh, women are taking testosterone pills, if I'm not mistaken, to be masculine, and men are taking test, uh, uh, what's it called, women, men, men are, men are taking estrogen pills, Slovakia, yeah, men are taking estrogen pills to be more feminine, man, you know, that's Esau, man, all right, and that's ultimately uh, the wickedness, that demon being on these men and women, you know, and the Lord, he's giving them over to that, man. Verse 27, and likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lusts, one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and, and receiving in themselves the recompense of, the, of their error, which was meat. All right, you know, hey, men sleeping with men, you know, they, they, men in this society, they, they, they don't like women, man. <laughs> you know, that's that's how messed up this society is, man. You know, and that's Babylon for you, man. You know, Babylon is means confusion, man. All right, this is the land of confusion, man. All right, and that's how you know the scriptures are real, man. Everything that's written in the scriptures. You see that today. You see that happening today, man. You know, prophecy, man. The Lord is the ultimate prophet, man. All right. And this is First Corinthians chapter six and verse nine it says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor." Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. All right, hey, you you won't inherit the kingdom of your, of the Most High, man. All right, let me just finish this. It says nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor nor revilers, nor extortioners, nor I mean nor ext, ex, extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High, man. All right, so you won't inherit the kingdom of the Most High on this side. All right, getting the first first fruits, being effeminate, man. You know, hey, all these celebrities are are, um, are homosexual, man. All right, they're effeminate. You know, look, you got uh, I think his name is ASAP ASAP Rocky, wearing a damn, I don't know what the fuck he's wearing, man. All right, hey, this place gotta go, man. All right, hey, the sins have reached up to heaven, man. All right, that's why the Lord is gonna. Uh, cleanse this place with nuclear fire, man. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. You know? I think that's Revelations. Yeah, this is Revelations chapter 18 and verse 4. It said... Alright, so lock here. You know, but that's that's what the Lord is saying, man. The Lord is saying, come out of, uh, come out of her, man. Come out of the ways of America, man. You Israelites, man. Come out of this, man. You know, so you won't so you won't receive of her plagues, man. All right, because ultimately the Lord He loves all Israel, man. That's why ultimately all Israel will be saved, man. All right. You know, but hey, the Lord He's only looking for He's only looking for His elect, man. All right, only the elect are going to get this. Are going to understand this song, man. All right, the song that's constantly being put out, man. All right, Revelation chapter 18, verse 5 says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. All right, the Most High, he, he, he has, he got all the iniquities in a basket, man. He know what's going on. You know, the, the, and the angels are constantly sending him uh, the things that's happening in America, man. All right, this whole world, man. All right, because the scripture says the Lord's eyes are, are are a thousand times brighter as the sun, man. All right, because of His angels, man. The, the angels, uh, the angels record everything to the Most High, man. You know, and let me go go to Deuteronomy, chapter twenty three and verse seventeen. It says, "There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel." Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. 
all right? You know, and, and what you see today, man, the total opposite, man. You see, uh, you see the sodomites right, of Israel, of the men, you know? Look at this guy, man, Magic Johnson's son, EJ Johnson, a complete demon, man. He got blonde hair, a dress, you know, this is clearly Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right. You know, you got you got horrors of of, of our daughters, man. You know, shaking ass on a boat, got their ass all out. You know, they they shake their ass to make to make a living. You know, they are horrors for a living, man. You know. Let me see if I can get that in Revelations. I think it's Revelations 11 and 8. All right. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where, our, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. Hey, this is spiritually... Sodom in Egypt, man. All right, you got homosexuality with the Sodomites. All right, and we're in bondage, man. All right, the children of Israel, we are still in bondage, man. We are yet this day in our captivity, man. All right, where the Lord has scattered us, man. All right, being subject to payments, man, which is brute three and eight, man. You know? Hey, so this is, this place uh, has to be done away with, man. All right, that's why the Lord, he says he's going to burn this place up. All right. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. All right, hey, this vision, man, is me being made, man. All right. Everything is being known, man. All right, we know this place is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right, we know this is spiritually Egypt, man. All right, the men of the Lord, we know that we are in bondage, man. We are in hell, man. All right? You know, but people say that we under the new covenant, man. You know? Hey, but the new covenant, it says that we're going to have the laws inside our, of our minds, man. Clearly, the laws are not in our minds yet, man. Look at our look at our men. Look at our men, dressed as women, man. You know, hey, they are selling their soul to the devil, man. Esau, man. All right, just for temporary things, man. Temporary money that's going to collapse. You know, temporary houses. That's going to fall down, man. You know? Temporary cars. That's going to be melted. Hey, it says the elements shall be melted, man. You know? Now, let me get Malachi. Now, let me get Zephaniah really quick. It says, Zephaniah 2 and uh, two and 1 says, Gather yourselves together, yea, yea gather together, O nation, not desire it. The nation of Israel is not desired, man. You know? They don't want us to be uh, princes of the power, man. You know, they want to be, they want us to be princes of Satan, man. All right? But verse 2, it says, Before the before the decree bring forth, before the, the day pass as a chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger, come upon you all right hey get yourselves together all right take heed to these laws man all right take heed to prophecy man what's coming to pass man and what's coming to pass death destruction famine women being ravished nation rising against nation all right, wars, rumors of wars, sedition of men, uprising of the people. 
You know, this is all happening, man. As we speak, man. You know, as we speak the words of Yahweh Shem Yahshah, this is all happening, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? We got to get ourselves together, man, before it's too late. All right? You know, so I just wanted to touch on that, man. You know, hey, masculinity is a, is a threat in America, man. That's that's why they're trying to effeminate. They're trying to make our men effeminate. All right? You know, so I'm going to close out and give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and mercy to the elect. To the next lesson, I say Shalom Wong.